Hello guys, uh, these lessons come as part of my software that you can purchase on flashbrainanatomy.com. I posted a link down there in the description, you should check it out. And in this lesson I will illustrate the cerebellum, the section of cerebellum, and we're going to look at it from the dorsal point of view. First there is a cortex of the telencephalon, and this is a cortex, okay, and the white matter is here. Those are the fibers that uh, have the myelin sheet around the axons. And that's why they have, that's why it has brighter color and the uh, gray matter is actually the cortex and that's where the neuron bodies are. I will illustrate the cerebellum here and this was the telencephalon up there. So here it is. So if you're wondering how is this cut made, what is this, uh, what is this perspective, and what are we looking at right now? I will just show you my illustration of the brain in the median section, and I will illustrate how is this cut made. Just imagine that we made a cut through the brain like this. Okay, we would see something like this over here. This video comes along with my full compilation of animated neuroanatomy lessons. It comes with my software that you can purchase on flashbrainanatomy.com. I put the links down there in the description and my software includes much more than just animated lessons. It includes 3D, interactive 3D anatomy and so on. If you're not going to buy my software, at least make sure you comment, like or subscribe. Now if you look at the cerebellum from the ventral point of view, you will see this part over here. It is called the vermis. And here's the vermis on this illustration. Then I illustrated the four pairs of nuclei that cerebellum has. And after I Photoshop it a little bit, this is how it looks like. We have the dentate nucleus here, the aboliform nucleus here. This is the globose nucleus and this is the vestigial nucle nucleus. Okay, so as I said this was the vermis of the brain and those were the hemispheres of the brain. The dentate nucleus, and that is this nucleus over here, receives the fibers from the hemispheres lateral, from the lateral hemispheres, okay? And the interposed nucleus receives the input from the parovermis the interposed nucleus is the term used for both of these nuclei here, the aboliform and the globose nucleus. So the interposed nucleus receives the fibers from around, uh, from the space around the vermis. And the vestigial nucleus receives the input primarily from the vermis. Okay, so we had the vestigial nucleus receives the input from the vermis, then the interposed nucleus or the aboliform and globose nucleus receive the uh, input from uh, parovermal zone okay and the and the dentate nucleus receives the input from lateral parts of the cerebellum okay this video comes along with my full compilation of animated neuroanatomy lessons it comes with my software that you can purchase on flashbrainanatomy.com I put the links down there in the description and my software includes much more than just animated lessons it includes 3D interactive 3D anatomy and so on if you're not going to buy my software at least make sure you comment like or subscribe